Hello, Pisces. Getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. You have the energy of the Hierophant. They have the energy of the King of Swords. So obviously you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or maybe a Taurus here. All right. So they may not be sharing how they're truly feeling, though, coming up with this King of Swords energy, or you're not. You have the Two of Coins and the Nine of Coins. Ooh, King of Swords again and the Ten of Cups. Okay. So this person is thinking about being in this relationship. Again, they may like being single. This person over here, though, I think they really want to be in a relationship. Now, they could be married to somebody else. Ten of Cups is here. Or you could be married to them. But we, I don't know yet exactly. But this might be someone who is difficult to read. What is the Ten of Cups? Two of Coins and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so if this person wants to be in a relationship. This person doesn't really. Or they, or they, they may be on the fence. Oops, Five of Swords just fell out. Someone may feel pushed or bullied or something. Let me just put that there for now. What is the Nine of Coins? Three of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Oh. Oh, is somebody playing a little aloof? Is somebody have other options? Is somebody jealous? Because the person on this side is kind of like this energy of, well, I can take it or leave it. I'm good. I'm good on my own. I'm, I'm happy here. You might be in a relationship with this person. You could be married to them with hair font being here. You may have a relationship on your mind, but it looks like to me like you're not showing it. You might be doing this on purpose. You may not be. If I have a sword spell out, maybe this person normally is like this. This could be my jealousy card. And then with the Knight of Swords showing up, this person could be coming in very quickly chasing you because it appears like this person wants this. They want to start this. They're very attracted to you. This could be someone who's married to someone else and they just want to be with you physically, you know, I have to read it as I see it, but definitely you've piqued their interest, if nothing else, okay? If you're not married to them and they're not married to anybody else, they want the Ten of Cups with you. They may not be telling you, though, if they're not an air sign and they're not really showing it. King of Swords could be that. They're not really, you know, they could be They could be like this, like, oh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be all romantic. I'm, I'm not going to buy her or him, you know, gifts or flowers or take him out. You know what I mean? They may be trying to play it too cool. Okay, what has led up to this? What has led up to this? The Seven of Wands. Yeah, so either they pushed you away in the past and maybe left you out in the cold or you just need more time to yourself. You want to think. This is like someone who just needs either space to themselves or again, it's like back off. I need to think. It doesn't feel like you're you, because, but it could be because it's more of an aggressive thing. So maybe you just have very clear boundaries. You know, you like to have your girls night out or guys night out. You want your weekends to yourself. You want this or that. You know what I mean? Because she looks pretty chill. Like she can take it or leave it. So someone may have been like hiding what they really want on this side and they weren't really showing it or saying anything. And maybe they played it too cool and lost you or are going to lose you. What is the seven of wands? Eight of swords. Wow. Well, hello. Eight of swords and ten of swords. So somebody has a big fear of either getting hurt or commitment. Someone can't get over the past, they can't get over the pain. Now again, if this type of energy feels like it goes with this person here, but it could be you. So are you stuck? Maybe you're leading this person on. Maybe you like them, you would like commitment, at the same time you like your freedom, you like to be single, you don't want to get hurt. So maybe you're doing this and you don't realize it. So just take it as it resonates. Somebody is like... Somebody got left out in the cold, right? Seven of Wands. Oh yeah, the Five of Coins is under here right now. Okay, so someone was coming towards you. Are you them? But this person said, no, I don't want your cup. I'm going to stay out in the cold. This person here did it because they're afraid. They're afraid of getting hurt. And it could have been this person because King of Swords, obviously, you know, could be someone who, again, is acting aloof or cold or unromantic or this and that. And so maybe you said, okay, fine, fine. I'll just be over here doing my thing and now it looks like they're chasing you so they want what they can't have or you know the whole energy you walk away they come chasing you I don't even think you walked away though I don't know I don't feel like you're playing games in the situation I feel like you're just doing your thing okay how do you feel over here what do you how do you feel <laughs> like the devil oh do you think they're playing games you think they're manipulating you and how do they feel 
because this can be how they th feel about you, that you're just chill, you're not putting in effort. So they think you're not putting in effort, you're not doing anything, you're just laying there, you're fine without them. So they see you as being aloof. Um, they might even say the word lazy or that you just don't care, right? You may see them as being manipulative, playing games, um, trying to maybe gaslight you or whatever. Okay, so there's like a lot of head games going on here. But I think what this person ultimately wants is a relationship. And I think you do too. But what is the devil energy? Obviously, it could be a Capricorn. But what is the devil? Okay, again, this is how you either view them or what you're doing. But So somebody is giving to other people, other guys or girls. Because this can be buying drinks. And the devil, this person likes to have people... Um, on them, they like to have people's you know attention. It makes them feel good. They want to have their ego stroked. It could be their it could be a bad habit with the devil card. So you know, obviously this could be a mistress situation. Three of Cups. Someone could already be married. This could be a mistress. You may be the mistress, but um, okay. What is the Four of Swords though? Now again, if you're doing this, you're out, just looks like you're partying, you're having a good time, you don't really care. This is could be what you're thinking and feeling, what you want to do, but four swords, four swords again and the knight of coins. Okay, I'm feeling somebody here is thinking like, okay, let me see if I can explain this. Like when they give you gifts, you're like, that's not good enough, I want something better. You know, like four swords, like he's not even going to get up to take the coin out of the knight of coin's hand. Like the knight of coin comes in with an offering and you're like, and again, this may be how they view you or this is what they're doing or you are doing this, but you're like, I don't want your coin. It's just not good enough. I'm over here with my coins. I'm, I'm good. So, okay. I'm, there's a lot of mind games here is what I'm seeing. And it could be on their part and you picked up on it and now you're playing the game too because you see what they're doing or you're both doing it, or it's just you, but um, this person feels like when you look at it, this person wants you now that they've lost you or wants you now that you're not interested in them, right? Now that you're not one of the many possibly, an option, now they're feeling like you're getting away because what's coming in is them chasing United Swords, right? Now he's on his horse, he's going really fast, he's kind of crazy, this person might do drugs, because devil's here, I'm seeing buying them. Because um, this person also looks like maybe they're kind of, um, like they may smoke weed or something. Like they just kind of laying there, kind of chill, kind of, you know, not really wanting to get up, just relaxing. Yeah, I, I'll get up later. But so again, I'm not sure if this person is kind of just not putting an effort. They didn't put effort in the past. They, they offered very little. Uh, they, you know, like sometimes they read the Four of Swords as being lazy, but so I'm not sure exactly. You guys know which way it resonates, who's doing what in the situation. Let's see the outcome then. What is the outcome here? Something flipped around. I'm going to go back and get it, but I'm going to take one also. What? Five of Coins. So remember, we saw that before. This person, whoever's acting this way, aloof, um, I don't need you, I don't want you, I don't want to get hurt is going to end up probably out in the cold. What turned around? Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. There's a lot of them. Ma Someone is manifesting the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Coins. This could be you. You may be working a lot. You may be working on your own money. If you have the Nine of Coins on your side, you may be saying, well, screw it, then I'll work with the Ten of Wands. I'll work a lot. Uh, maybe you'll even move, move for a job, or you're just, you know, taking on a lot and working on your stability and money. Maybe what you're doing, maybe you're doing this not to be out in the cold. Hmm. What is the five of coins? What is the five of coins? So it could be one person is going to feel out in the cold. Other person is focused on manifesting their stability, no matter how difficult it is. What is the five of coins? Okay. Someone is, so this obviously, I mean, it could be a Pisces, but someone is either looking at this wrong they're looking at it very skewed, and I don't know, I think this, is, this isn't the best. What is the moon energy? What is being hidden? Wow. Okay, so what's being hidden? 
is that someone is in love, two of cups, this person I think over here is in love. They want a new beginning. They're hoping for a stability, a stable relationship. They want a stability, but it blew up in their face. And I'm assuming this is with you because what they wanted was victory with you, six of wands. Or, no, I'm actually reading it like this. This person, this person may have a temper. They may do crazy, erratic things. They wanted this with you, but they blew it up because they're acting kind of crazy, I think. Something's, something's off in this reading. And they don't want to, like, they think this is great. Like, they're teaching you a lesson. Six of Wands, it's kind of what I'm feeling. They're going to teach you a lesson and they're going to, uh, I don't know, not take your phone calls, not, um, pay any pay attention to you they're going to push you away they may not be doing this because they want to they may be doing this out of instinct or you know to protect themselves or their subconscious but what's happening is they're blowing this opportunity up and they think that this is a victory so i can read it both ways i this person loves you a lot and they want the stability with you but they're afraid are they afraid of losing you down the way Maybe they see other people buying you drinks. Maybe this is other people. Because I got jealousy. By the swords, I got jealousy chasing you. You're a great catch. Other, other men or women are interested in you or they will be interested in you. You have you know people around you wanting to you know take you out or buy you drinks. Because these both can be date cards. But with the devil though, that could be jealousy or seeing things you know in a, the wrong way. So I feel like some of you may just give up on this relationship. We have like at least three tens here. So it could be that this relationship's over anyways. You've given up on it completely. Or I can also see that maybe you're working a lot, working on your stability, your own ten of coins, and not relying on this person. This person, though, I think is going to lose you because of how they treat you or how aggressive they're coming across. Or I don't think they even know at times what they're doing. They may not even put in effort. You know, if this is them, this is putting in very little effort in the relationship. This is definitely not Eight of Coins working on it. So, it's almost like someone is seeing it wrong and they're reading the situation wrong and they're leaving. It feels like this person. And they may be blowing it up because they feel like you don't want them anymore, you don't love them, or they're blowing it up because they don't want to be hurt. They think they're going to get hurt. I'm not saying they are going to get hurt, but you know what I'm saying? It's like this person is, is seeing it upside down. They're seeing it wrong. Or they're seeing you wrong. Okay. Let me go to, let me go to this deck and see if there's something they want to say to you. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Yeah. See, this person may need to apologize for something with the King of Swords energy. They may need to open up. I think they're being stubborn, possibly. I think they're, um, I think they're, shoot, there's a saying, like, they're going to ruin the whole situation because they can't tell you that they're sorry or that they can't speak their mind or tell you how they're feeling or something like that. I'm afraid to contact you. So some of you guys aren't even talking to this person right now. Maybe you're afraid to talk to them. They may get kind of belligerent. And one more, please. I know I missed up everything. I feel you leaving me behind. Some of you are. Some of you are just tired of this. You're tired of putting up with this, and so you are leaving this person behind. Uh, what else can you tell us about this particular person or relationship? Passion. So there's insane chemistry. You guys like each other equally and having fun. I do see that though. I do see underlying love here. A lot of love. Like this person wants the Ten of Cups with you. They want to revive this with the Ace of Wands. I think they may be very jealous though for some of you. They get overly jealous to where you can't, like even if someone smiles at you or talks to you like at a grocery store and they see it, they get insanely jealous. They make it crazy. And this person, this person may need some, someone to talk to, professional help, something that maybe, something that you can't fix. You can't do it. You need someone else to kind of intervene and Show this person what they can't see. Okay, what else, please? Healthy choices. Yeah, making healthy choices in love and life. Self-love, self-care, and being happier. This is you. So some of you, you are leaving this person. This is not a healthy situation. It's toxic. You see that. You know that. So you're like, you know what? I am going to pack. I'm going to go. This isn't the right person for me. The right relationship. It's not healthy. 
One more, please. Also palm tree, yeah. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. And that's what I see you manifesting here. No matter how difficult it is, you're gonna do that for yourself. Let me get, um, I was gonna pull from this deck. I haven't used this one recently. Let me just see what they're saying. One message, please, for this relationship, this person. Okay, so unfinished symphony, <laughs> number 10. TikTok is under the deck. So, it, you know, it feels that way. It feels kind of like a cliffhanger, like this is not over. Like there is something that needs to be talked about or said. I mean, it may be over completely down the way, but there could be for some of you, well, for a lot of you, that this is not over. This is a temporary pause and you guys will come back together because the Six of Swords, he's not going very fast. And again, this person right here is out in the cold and they're just... They're either abandoning themselves or doing this to themselves on purpose and they shouldn't be, they don't need to be. They'll come back around or you'll go get them, you'll help them, you'll talk to them. Again, they may need some mental help or something because I feel like they're doing this again to protect themselves. They're afraid to move forward, they're afraid to get hurt. They feel kind of trapped or stuck in their own mind and thoughts, but yet they really do love you. So again, this might be someone you are married to for some of you or someone you want to marry. So, Healthy choices may mean that you just need to distance yourself from this person until they get help, until something, you know, gets resolved in the situation. So, all right, guys, so I'm going to leave it here. I wish you the best. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.